I know a lot of people who almost don't give the night sky a second glance. The sizes and distances and, and nature of things up there. Uh, learning about them just opens up a whole new world. Don't forget that out of 50 states, California ranks 49th in science education. We face something of a crisis. I mean, most kids today aren't getting adequate science education. And so places like Chabot can really address that challenge and that need. That's something the Chabot Space and Science Center has been pretty good at for 125 years. Chabot started as an observatory, donated to the city of Oakland 125 years ago, and throughout that time, we've been a publicly accessible observatory. First located here at Lafayette Park in downtown Oakland, relocated to Mountain View Boulevard in 1915, where it was unfortunately placed right on top of the Hayward Fault, the newest Chabot Space and Science Center now sits 1,540 feet above sea level in the Oakland Hills. Named for Anthony Chabot, one of 16 children from Canada. He made his fortune getting water to Bay Area cities. $3,000 of that fortune went to building that first observatory. 125 years later, you can still look through the eyepiece of that very first telescope. This is the one that started it? Yes, 1883. This is the one that Anthony Chabot provided the money for to buy that started Chabot Observatory. And it has been in continuous operation since then? Pretty much, yeah. Can a mere mortal look through that telescope? Any Friday or Saturday night when it's clear? No uh, kidding! Anyone can come up, stand in line, and have a really great peak, but best peep show on Earth. The observatory has three big telescopes now. They have always been available to the public. The general experience, especially with something like Saturn, is it just takes your breath away. 150,000 people visit every year. A third of them are kids. Kids do have fun, right? I mean, this is not like oh, science yeah, study. Oh, no, yeah, I know. You know, it's not Sabose Space and Science Center. Oh, no, this is great. I mean, it's hands-on, interactive science education. Kids learn by doing here. Whether it's sitting in on mission control or experiments on stability. It's about the kids, and it's about science education for kids. And while some things may be puzzling even to adults. Where volcanoes form, saw volcano forms. You don't have to be Einstein to visit Chabot, although he did. His personal telescope is actually on display here. So is a three billion year old rock from the moon and meteorites that date back almost to the beginning of our solar system. And while you might find out a thing or two about other heavenly bodies, it's all about getting kids up to speed on this one. We hear every day about global warming. We hear about climate change. Well, at the core of all of that is science. It's just so important for young minds to get activated and engaged. And, and science is at the core you know, of all the challenges we face. We exist to educate and inspire students of all ages on the planet Earth and the universe. A noble goal and one that Chabot has hit out of the park. Just like that team that's celebrating 50 years in San Francisco this year. As correspondent Dave Stelf reports. <laughs>